Very, very dry and windy out there for sure. That's why those red flag warnings are out there. You might be thinking, well, there's a foot of snow in, in the woods near my house. It won't burn there, but that's not really where they're concerned about. It's on maybe south-facing hills where there isn't any snow and fields. Fields right now are very dry. They're basically fuel for fires. So definitely stay away from the big fires uh, this weekend until we do get some rain. So Weather Watchers called in with some really warm temperatures today. I'll show you those in a second. Forecasting one more mild and windy Sunday. So those fire conditions, even though they do uh, expire at 7 p.m. tonight, I expect them to reissue those Sunday morning. But then we are forecasting a couple of rain chances, and that will reduce that fire danger, which we desperately need. We desperately need some rain this spring. So highs for today. Weather Watchers to the northwest. Very warm, 62 in Little Fork and Big Falls, 61 degrees, 56 in Hibbing, 57 in Silver Bay, 58 in Hermantown, down in Wisconsin. Even warmer areas like Ashland, 62, 57 for a high in Hayworth. Beautiful day today. And I'm expecting a pretty nice day tomorrow as well. Before we get there, the forecast for tonight is calling for increasing clouds. So mention those northern lights. It looks like it might be a little bit harder to see them tonight thanks to this cloud cover. But we will have another breezy and mild night. We're going to have lows in the 40s, way, way above average. Then we are talking our first chance for some rain. This is Sunday at 6 p.m., the cold front entering the Northland. You can see it's already raining International Falls. It's dry in Duluth at 6 p.m., and it's dry in Wisconsin as well. So it will be more of an overnight event here in the Twin Ports and in Wisconsin. But we could see you know, a tenth of an inch of rain from this system. On Monday, high pressure works in. we got plenty of sunshine. So it will be a nice day on Monday. Temperature's a little cooler because of that cold front. But then we have our next chance for rain. And it's a much bigger system that will move in for Tuesday. And it will actually stay in the Northland through Wednesday. And I'll show you that right here on Futurecast. So here's that rain starting Tuesday morning. And see some pretty dark greens here indicating some heavier rain. Areas to the north could see a good deal of snow from, to, from this system. Tuesday afternoon, it switches over to snow across the North Country. Here in the Twin Ports, still seeing some rain. But eventually, that rain snow line will crash a little bit further south into Wednesday. So even here in Duluth and in Wisconsin, we could see a little bit of snow on Wednesday. Again, it's pretty far away, so we're going to keep you guys updated through the next few days. Forecast for tonight, very mild. That's the kind of the key. We have strong winds south 15 to 20 and partly cloudy skies. That keeps us in the 40s all night long. 41 for a low in Hayward, 43 for a low in Ashland. Tomorrow getting into the 60s before that cold front gets here and brings us some light rain showers. So in the morning, fire danger will be high, but it'll quickly go down once that rain moves through Sunday evening. Monday, quiet day. Tuesday, Wednesday, kind of reversing rolls back to winter for Wednesday as temperatures are in the low 30s with some pretty snow looking likely. And then it does get chilly after that. Highs in the low 30s by Friday. So enjoy. Hope you enjoyed today. Enjoy tomorrow morning as well. It, it will be a nice one, but it's going to get back to being pretty chilly. Right. So warm now and then it gets cold again. We'll get plenty of rain. That's the best part. I think we could see more than an inch from that system. Okay. We'll be looking ahead to that. Alex, thanks.